Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. This is tutorial number 6. Configure antipic line and time settings of router. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about time settings of MicroBit router. There are two ways you can set up your time settings. One is manually set up from clock settings of router, which is local. And another way is configuring antipic line to synchronize clock with remote time server. ANTIP stands for Network Time Protocol, which is designed for clock synchronizations of routers, computers, or the network. First, we will see local clock settings configuration. Now, from the left panel menu, select System and click on Clock. If it's a new router, you will see startup date is January 2nd, 1970. Now from this clock window, save that as your current date. You can see I have set mine as my current date is July 9, 2018. You can see format is month, then date, and then year. And month name will be first three letter of any month, like July, you could write J will do. Now you can select time zone of your country. My zone I select as Asia Dhaka. From router OS version 6.27, there is a new feature called time zone auto detect. Time zone auto detect is enabled by default and time zone is set automatically. The time zone is detected when your router is coming to production level. So even if you don't set the clock setting, your router will get the time zone automatically just after you get your router in the production level. Okay, there is another tab called manual time zone. You'll set it only if your country uses daylight saving time. But to configure it, uh, select manual as time zone name. So I don't have to set it because we don't use a daylight saving time in my country. Okay, now we will configure NTP client. By default, router has this package named SNTP client. So you don't need to install NTP package for it. But if you want to make this router as NTP server, you need NTP package for your router. After you configure NTP client, your router time will synchronize with remote time server. You need to set accurate time by this configuration because later on, you will analyze router log by seeing timestamps if someone is trying to access your network or you could tell when your router was shut down abruptly. These are very important for system admin to know the time of the router. Now for configuration go to system then SNTP client. Check enable and put primary NTP server and secondary NTP server. Now you have to collect the NTP server IP address. So you have to go to the browser and type pool.ntp.org. You will see there is a four NTP server address. You just copy the first one and put it here as primary NTP server and then second one as your secondary NTP server. Now your router will communicate with this NTP server at this to synchronize the time just click apply now you can see it converts 
your server address to IP address so you don't have to worry about IP address you just have to click OK that's it hope this video helps you to set time and date settings of your router see you in the next video thanks